Hello RV adventurers. You've seen three of the models and now it's time for the last model that Casita makes, the Freedom model. So come along and take a look at that one. Come on in. We're sitting in the Freedom Deluxe model. As you can see, the Freedom Deluxe has the swivel bucket seats instead of like the Spirit Deluxe has benches. Nice little table here, window to look out. That's nice. All right, so let's take a look at, at what we have here. Well, you got a lot of open space underneath the bottom. So you could uh, store some plastic bins in there with stuff. Could be stored in the back behind each one. You have a large storage across here. Goes fully through both sides. Nice long storage container there. When you first came in, you have the you have the closet. The closet has a clothes rod at the top. Ample storage space there. Some storage space at the bottom to carry some other things. And on the door, you have a basket that comes standard from the factory. And then we have the bathroom. Let's step in there and take a look. The bathroom. Okay, the bathroom has the Tedford toilet with the flush valve in the front. And a little basket here to store items. You got a little ventilation window here. Oops, I locked it. There we go. A little frosted glass there and ventilation. You have a light up here. Uh, they don't have the battery in this model, but the light's here. Okay, over here you have the sink. And uh, hot and cold water. And you have a shower wand for your shower. You have uh, two little cubbies here. You have a vent fan up here. Um, for ventilation. And you have a little uh, storage compartment here on the side that goes like that deep. You can put stuff in the side there that you can close. Okay, down here you have a storage compartment. You store all kinds of things in there. It is waterproof. And shower basin and a shower curtain to uh, keep the door from getting wet. Okay, a little towel bar on the door. One important note here. All of the Casita models can be ordered in the standard configuration, which removes the front closet and bathroom and puts bunk beds in the front. Here's a picture of how that looks. As we walk past the dining area with the swivel buckets, you can see they swivel here. You have a little uh, wall here that separates the dining area from the back area. This back area makes into a double bed and it's also set up as a table right now with your table and you sit here with a larger table and of course this makes down into the bed back here of course windows surround all three sides and we have storage above starting with this side you have a storage compartment that goes all the way back to the back you have a large storage compartment in the back all the way across the back of the trailer and then you have a storage compartment on this side it goes all the way back to the back uh, this one doesn't have the TV mount whoever bought this one had it built for them did not want that so it's just uh, open at the back now let's back up a little bit to the kitchen you have a two burner range in this kitchen setup and you have a little latch here where the cover goes down and then it latches up to protect someone from sitting here from anything hot getting on them you have a sink here standard sink with a uh, cover got a high-rise faucet that's pretty nice right here a little uh, organizer tray there 
and you have a uh, vent hood or the light uh, the battery is not hooked up in this one and uh, all right we have a uh, storage cabinet at the top adequate storage for plates glasses and other things you may want to store you have a drawer here that pulls out all the way under the stove we have a large cabinet here lots of storage pots pans other things pretty good storage there and it opens on this side as well for double storage a lot of space there over here you have a little bit of storage up here on this little storage compartment and then you have a built-in microwave the people that ordered this one wanted the microwave built in so nice little microwave in there and if you don't get the microwave you have then the storage pantry that we've seen in other models now let's take a look at the refrigerator you have your cold control here one to five you just press that button to raise it a little check light if something isn't working right it'll come on on and off switch dc ac auto and gas it's a three-way refrigerator runs on any one of those power sources so inside you have your uh, adjustable drawers that come out you can lift them out for cleaning and you can put them down further if you want to freezer compartment is in here to take some frozen things with you uh, you got a cut out there where you could carry a milk jug or other tall jug of something uh, you have your electric transfer panel here that transfers your 110 volts to 12 volts there and hot water pump switches here I mean hot water heater switches there to turn on the gas you got a little uh, bulkhead uh, cover there but you have your battery compartment and your hot water heater so there's no usable storage space back there just to access it on this side you have storage and your water tanks in the back all the way in the back back there well, let me take a look at that hang on just a second now you can see it the water tank kind of takes that up but you have a little space on top of the water tank you can put something there to store okay up here you have your air conditioning unit with heat strip has heat fan and uh, cooling so a nice air conditioner here and then you back up a little bit you have your fantastic fan here you can open it manually or it comes with a remote where you can open it and turn it off and on and set a temperature for it to ventilate well that wraps up our tours of the four different models over the last week and a half that casita offers as always consult with casita and get a brochure so you'll know which options that you have to pay extra for and which come standard we're going to end this by showing you some snapshots of the interior and then after those we're going to show you some preview shots of the new gray wood interior that Casita is going to be putting in their trailers beginning in March. So stay tuned for that. See you next time.